All right, in today's video, I'm going to show how to upgrade the operating system on a Zebra MC3330XR from Android 10 to 11. This is something that is now requirements um, at a number of governmental organizations for security reasons, and I just want to show how we can do this process. There's more than one way, and Zebra has <clears throat> suggestions and manuals documenting using their software to make connections either in the cloud or whatever to push things down. I frankly find that all way too cumbersome. It's got 50 steps when you just need five. And so I'm going to show you what I think is an easier, simpler way to do this and to do it um, manually on each reader. Now, if you have a 100 readers or 50 readers, maybe it makes sense to try to do this uh, via network connections, but um, I actually do find this to be really straightforward. So let's start with here is a reader, and just to show that we truly are set up for um, Android 10, let's clear this. Let's go out to settings, and as we scroll all the way here, we're going to hit about phone, and somewhere right there, Android 10. Okay. And we want to upgrade that to, <clears throat> excuse me, Android 11. So how do you do that? Well, we're going to come back out to the browser. We're going to go to zebra.com. And if you don't have a username already, you're going to get one because they'll prompt you when you try to do the download. But let's just say that you have already received your, um, <clears throat> your, your login information. You hit support and downloads. RFID readers. Then the MC3300 series, the XR, not the old one, but the XR series. And then as you look here, you'll see operating systems. Uh, we're not in China, so we're picking this one. And here's Android 10, Android 11. This is the one that we want. And you'll see there's been quite a few different versions here. We obviously want the most recent. And we want the full update because... Um, uh, yeah, that's what we want. Now, if you look here, uh, the, sometimes what you'll see when you go to a certain release level is that it'll be a base level uh, release, and then there might be an additional Delta update. And in this case, there isn't, but sometimes there is, and you want to get, like in this case here, you get a user or two field. Um, it, maybe there's more than one zip file, but in this case, there's only one zip file. It's the full update, and we're going to grab that. It's one gigabyte. Now, I've already done that because <clears throat> it takes a long time to download that, first of all. And then the next thing you need to do is to transfer it to a um, an SD card. So you can do that, put that in your PC, download it onto that, and then take out your little uh, micro adapter, right? Uh, this is the only thing that'll fit inside your Zebra. So we're now gonna go into the process of putting this inside the reader, and then we'll boot the reader, and it'll sense the new operating system on here, and we'll install it from the card. And that is a much more direct way of getting this stuff done without messing around with all the Zebra core documentation and all of that. So uh, let's move forward. All right, we're going to continue now. Let's start by taking your reader, and this one is, is broken, and our uh, partner has conveniently placed a nice little strap on it so we know which one it is. Uh, it's the barcode scanner that's broken. Nothing else is broken here, so we're going to use this as our guinea pig. And you can press on both sides here to release your battery. When you do so. Look inside, you'll see this little cover plate. Pop that up, either with your thumb or with something. And then it may be hard to focus on that. You'll see there's a little slider. Slide it up. And then you can place your, uh, your little SIM in there, a little memory card. I'm trying to do this while keeping it in focus. 
probably not succeeding. Uh, lay it in there until it kind of sits. Put your cover down and pull down like that. All right? And we're going to put the battery back in. And <clears throat> here's the tricky part, right? This is how you um, start up this device in bootloader mode. So you're going to, I'm going to power it off first. Yes, it was. <coughs> now we're going to hold that down and boot this button down and just boot it up normally. But we're going to, at the same time, hold the trigger button down. So here, I'll try to do it. So you can see it. See if I can do this the other way around. So I'll hold the trigger down, boom, right? And then hold this down until you see the splash screen. Then you can let go of the red button, but keep holding on to the trigger, okay? Keep holding on to the trigger until you see um, the boot screen come up. Takes about a minute at the most. And at that point, I'm going to put it in the dock. You can let go of your trigger now. Now you can see it's a, it's got some options in here. And I'm going to pause and put it back in the cradle, and we'll get uh, going on the next step. All right, so here we are. We've got this menu now. You're going to use these keys here to navigate. So I'm going to upgrade from the SD card, right? And to hit Enter, there's an Enter key um, next to the zero. Or at the on the bottom right, so we'll hit enter, and then it's going to select. It's going to allow you to select what uh, file do you want to use. Well, I'm taking this one gigabyte zip file. And I just took the zip file, put it on the on the memory card, and don't expand it, don't extract it, just leave it as a zip file, and we will go from there. So hit enter now, and now it should go through a whole bunch of steps to figure out, okay, what is it that this file wants to do? Um, let's check it for errors and so forth. So we're going to let it do its thing. And this is going to take a while, so I'll come back in a bit. All right, now we're going to continue here. It's been about five minutes for it to actually install. And it'll go through, you can see it's steps one, one of two, two of two, blah, 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 whatever. Um, when it's done, it'll say it's complete. And now you can go back up to the top here, right? And you can um, reboot the system. Uh, I, I think it's fine if you just do that. You don't need to take the card out immediately, or you could pull it out of the dock and pull the battery out and uh, remove your card if you want uh, now. That's fine. But let's just go ahead and see what happens if we just leave it in there. So again, hit the Enter key for reboot system now. And again, I'm not holding the trigger button down now, so as it reboots, it should just come into Android 11. I know that there's still a chip inside, or a, you know, a, a, a memory chip in the reader itself, but I think it's going to ignore it unless you actually go into boot mode. So let's see. I'm probably going to get the prompts right away for setting up the reader because I completely re-imaged the device as um, Android 11. So it doesn't have any previous information about my Google account or anything. So let's just see if it... I just want to get to a point where I can get to set up and validate that it is Android 11. <clears throat> All right, there we are. So let's um, scroll up. Actually, I'm not going to have a settings button there. So just to test, let's go pull down twice. See the little setting button there? Hit that. Go up. About phone. Android 11. So at this point, uh, we have done what we needed to do. You can see it's in a stock condition again so we need to move all of our stuff you know in, you know off of the uh, home page probably clean this up a little bit for our customers so they don't have to see a bunch of 
cluttered stuff that they'll never use. Um, and we'll go back out to the Play Store, reinstall, asset works, um, all of those other things that you do when you set up a reader. But there's the process for doing Android 11. We can shut it down. I'll hold the red button again. They'll say power off. Oh, that's different, isn't it? From it used to be a, a fly out here in Android 10 and in Android 11, it's at the top. So we'll just hit power off, let it shut down, right? Take this out, remove the battery. Remember, slide up so that this clip comes up like that. Now you can take your chip out, save it for a different one, hold that down, pull it down, I guess, to snap it in place. Oh, don't forget your little cover. Put your cover back on. Snaps in place. Put your battery in. And you're done. Okay? Repeat that for as many readers as you got.